Let me show you a quick way to opening an SVG file, and I'll show you two different ways to converting it to another type of file like a JPEG or PNG. Now, SVG file, you could go ahead and right click on it or control click on a Mac and actually view it on a browser, for example, like this. This is one I got from Envato Elements for my project. SVG basically stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So you could actually scale this up and down, but to put it on a web, basically, we a lot of times need to use it as JPEG or PNG. To do that, the best software for that is called Adobe Illustrator. This is a software that in most cases makes graphic files and SVG or vector files. And they do have a free trial link if you wanna try it out completely for free to opening these files and converting them. So I'll link it in the description below this video. Once you have it installed, all you have to do is right click, open with Adobe Illustrator will pop up here, the latest version that you have. And there is that file right here. So I could make any changes to it because it's a vector file, but I could go to file and I could export as and I could choose to export this as a different type of file format. So JPEG would be this one, PNG, which will keep the transparency. So it would have a transparent background is this one. And I'll go ahead and press export and I'll go ahead and make this a little bit larger and press OK. So just to show you, this is the vector file and this is the PNG file now that I could use on the web. I'll show you one more way to do this. There's another app that you could download called GIMP. This is an open source image editor and it's actually free to use. So you could use this instead of Adobe Illustrator. Now I already have it installed. So I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to open with GIMP instead of the default option. And I'm going to press OK here to set the size. And again, I could go to file and then I could export as and I could choose the different file types down here. So again, I'll have PNG. This time I'll choose JPEG from the list and I'll go ahead and press export. I'll press export again. And now you could see I have the SVG PNG file that I made with Adobe Illustrator. And then the JPEG file is this one. Now this one doesn't have a transparent background because JPEGs just can't have a transparent background like PNG and SVG files can. But that's how you open and how you convert a SVG file with those couple of different options. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video.